tell you the number one, and it's, it's tough to say the number one class of toxic drugs because they're all pretty darn toxic, but the ones that stand out for me are the high blood pressure drugs, the so-called antihypertensives, and there's two reasons for that. Number one, they are a powerful, powerful poisons of the, of the, of the nervous system, so-called beta blockers and calcium channel blockers that people get put on almost automatically when they ha have high blood pressure. You see these beta blockers and calcium channel blockers block everything. And folks, if you hear the word blocker in terms of your prescription drug, that's a prescription drug you don't want to take because you can't just block one system. A beta blocker blocks the entire beta nervous system, which is one half of your nervous system, and you're playing with fire if you use it. And the reason why I'm so up, uh, up in arms about these antihypertensives is, is only one half because they're toxic, but the other half is because they're so unnecessary. Dropping your blood pressure is one of the easiest things to do. Dropping your blood pressure simply by taking in supplements that open up blood vessels such as niacin in the B complex, uh, uh, electrolytes like magnesium and potassium, and most most importantly, folks, the single most important thing you could do for your health and longevity, drop your insulin, make your body more sensitive to insulin, lower your blood sugar. Your blood pressure will drop so fast that you'll have to get off your prescription drug or it will, it will drop too But low. they can't so, sell you exercising, eating healthy, and not drinking as much sugar or eating as much sugar. They'd rather let you continue to be sick and then use something that blocks it, that takes care of that, but causes a whole other panopticon of other problems because they got drugs to sell you on that front. If you want to drop your blood pressure, you and you should drop your blood pressure, and if you want to do it, you do not need prescription drugs to do it, and it's one of the simplest, easiest nutritional uh, nutritional strategies that you can, uh, uh, effects from nutritional strategies that you can ever achieve. Dropping your insulin, making your body more sensitive to insulin, dropping your blood sugar, taking the B-complex and electrolytes, and your blood pressure will drop like a stone, and you'll lose weight on top of that as well. The second thing, uh, a second class of drugs that troubles me are these anti-convulsant drugs that they use for bipolar polar disorder and for emotional problems and any pharmacist will tell you that Tegretol and Depakote and, and Valproic Acid and Dilantin, these drugs they use for, they used to use them just as anticonvulsants, now they're using them for uh, anxiety and for bipolar disorder. Those are among the most deadly drugs of all and you need to have your liver checked every six months when you're on them. And by the way, if you're on a drug like the statin drugs that requires that you need to have your liver checked every six months, that's telling you that you are playing with a deadly drug. And let me tell you something folks they make it seem like those statin drugs are like m ms they're like candy and there's no problem and we can give them to children and we should put them in the water and they should be over the counter and that is far from being true they're so toxic these statin drugs that liver enzymes are elevated in one out of a hundred people who take them and even more than that are subject to liver toxicity that don't show up with liver and by the way liver elevated toxic. liver uh levels that, that, that's a fancy way of saying your liver is leaking, there's cells dying, it's swelling up like you're drinking a quart of Jack Daniels every day. That's right. And you know, today we have a new disease called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. And that's the same disease you used to have to drink a pint a day to get. Now everybody's getting it. So they call it non-alcoholic uh, fatty liver disease, or NAFLD. And they say, well... And now we have, now we have uh, early onset of... Uh, brain degenerative disorders and oh now young people are getting alzheimer's drink more aspartame drink more out of aluminum cans and they had studies thirty years ago in rodents with aluminum that 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 they uh... had their brains rot i mean they know what they're doing you don't want to touch aspartame folks in fact as terrible as sugar is it's probably better than aspartame. At least your body has, has uh, evolved metabolic systems to take care of sugar. And by the way, the sweet taste alone is problematic. So uh, uh, whether it's a sweetener is artificial or a sweetener is non-artificial, just that sweet taste alone initiates an insulin response. And as I say, if you have to pick one system that you want to regulate in order to maintain your health and longevity, it's that blood sugar and insulin system. Uh, how important is cleansing? G go over some of those products that are at InfoWarsTeam.com because I've searched them out, I've, l I've talked to the experts, I've looked at everything, and this is the system that I found gets the best results. And your purchase also funds this broadcast. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm ranting. Uh, getting back to the brainwave situation you were talking about.
Alex, when you're scared, number one, you don't do your best thinking, but number two, your stress hormone levels go up and your immune system drops. And that's what you want to be so careful of. If you are under stress and you're worried and you're, and you're fearful and you have anxiety levels, high anxiety levels, you are not able to withstand the E. coli. You're not able to withstand the drugs in the water. You're not able to withstand the, uh, the radiation that's in the water and in the, and in the fish and in the food. So what you want to do is you want to make sure, Matthew 10, 16, wise as a serpent, gentle as a dove. You want to know what's going on. You want to not be stupid. You want to understand the manipulation that's occurring all around us and make absolutely sure you are taking care of your health using nutrition, using nutritional supplementation, and for God's sake, disengaging from the machine by not eating the crap. Every time you drive by Taco Bell, you want to think, that's the terrorist. You know, the terrorist isn't necessarily the guy at a turban who's coming on the plane. It's the tacos, and it's the the fast food, and it's the processed exactly. food, and it's We're the not cereals. taught to see the poison in the water, the, the frequency pollution. We're not taught to see the real things that are really attacking our bodies. Right. That's the thing that you want to be able to withstand. If you want to be powerful to be able to take care of, uh, to be able to withstand the abuses that are occurring in our environment, job number one is to not eat the crap, is to make sure you're taking care of your health using nutrition and nutritional supplementation, making sure you, you're moving your body around. You know, uh, people didn't get cancer and heart disease to the degree they did, to the degree we're doing, t we're getting it today, 150 years ago, because they were chopping wood and they were uh, walking to the store and they were out farming and they were moving their lymphatic system and they were exercising and they were breathing a clean air and so what we want to make sure we're doing today is we're understanding maximally how our bodies work and that's the, the to me that's the biggest crisis we have is this ignorance over our human bodies this incredible 100 trillion cell machine that we are gifted with for a hundred years uh, to 120 years we get to to have possession of this amazing healing system and we don't even know where our pancreas is or what our pancreas does and this ignorance around the human body and this ignorance around how we treat the human body has got to stop because until it does until it does stop we are going to become we're, we're going to be nothing but fodder for this machine new world order that is bent on our uh, enslavement and our uh, robot uh, turning us all into robots it becomes incumbent upon us all to understand how our bodies work and to understand how to take care of our bodies and you know from listening to my program and from talking this weekend that I'm a big believer in nutritional supplementation you absolutely have to understand understand how to use nutritional supplements correctly. You know, Alex, 62% of Americans use nutritional supplements, but do you think of that 62%, how many do you think really know how to use a nutritional supplement, how to uh, uh, incorporate nutritional supplements in a synergistic fashion? That, and that's why I like nutritional supplement systems so well. Or perfect uh, example is the, the statin drugs that you were talking about. That's a perfect example. You, do you know to this day there has not been one single definitive study that connects cholesterol, to uh, elevated blood cholesterol to atherosclerosis, which is a leading cause of death, the leading cause of death in this country to this day. And it's not, not for lack of searching for it. Yet if you go to the Midwest and you go back east, you talk to people about cholesterol, they, most people still believe that their elevated cholesterol has to be stopped and has to be controlled to the point that they need to take poison prescription drugs to knock it down. Right. Pharmacist to... Ben Fuchs, Dr. Blaylock, top brain surgeon, agrees with you. He says, you are insane to take statins. You know why? The brain is almost entirely the solid part, cholesterol. And... <laughs>